Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm filming from uh, Manchester Aviation Green Park. Today I'm doing something slightly different. We've come down to see the Avro RJX100. This aircraft uh, first flew in 2001. She has uh, four Honeywell turbofan engines. As you can see, unfortunately, it's uh, fenced off a little bit. So, try and film as much as I can of the engines. Show you. This is engine uh, one and two on the port side. This is looking at the cockpit windows. She has been at Manchester for quite a few years now. Fortunately, she is uh, exposed to the elements, which is sad. But there is a maintenance team that comes on the weekend. This maintenance team comes in here and uh, wipes and cleans her and uh, basically looks after her. I have special permission today to go right around there for your dream pleasure. This aircraft is a, used to be a regional uh, passenger aircraft flying passengers around uh, Europe. It's an absolutely fantastic aircraft and uh, She'll be sadly missed, I'm very sure, in the skies. But all in all, a superb, superb machine. Coming right up to her, as you can see. This is the nurse section. This is where they house the radar antennae. The radar antennae is housed in the section of the aircraft. I think we're special permission to go aboard her. So we're going about the RJX100. This aircraft has now become a museum piece. We'll start off with the cockpit. Two man flight, flight, cockpit, flight to deck. As you can see. Using a an LED instrument system, which is quite modern compared to the old cockpits of uh, aircraft uh, of from a bygone era. She is now being preserved, as you can see. This is the model of her as well. This shows you a bit more closer what she looks like and some flight information about her but when she flew this would have been all passenger seating which has now been removed some of the passenger seating has been uh, retained in the back there to just give you a very rough idea of what uh, what she looks like with seats in and you have a computer instrumentation this, is, this, this would normally have been covered up out of the way of passengers this has got this sort of retained all uh, flight information and navigational aircraft systems restored in, 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 in these computers and pilots have been able to access this at any time if when necessary as you can see 
this aircraft is not landed quite yet because the turbo fans were known to be very quiet on uh, spooling up for takeoff and uh, coming in for landing passengers had said this aircraft is a very quiet aircraft and very stable in flight coming now down the stairs I shall attempt now to go around to the other side of the aircraft as far down as I can go to show you the passenger, passenger, passenger windows as well so I shall try to go down and I mean go right down the length of the aircraft to show, who, show you what she looks like close up She has a, she has a four wheels, two wheels on either side of uh, the main landing gear, and in the distance as you can see two two nose wheels for stability, twin nose wheels for stability, and two uh, two wheels on either side on main landing gear for stability and also for landing on rough surfaces and very small airports where there are only uh, gravel gravel runways and gravel uh, tarmac areas this is, this is what she looks like this is her number G-I-R-J-X this is uh, the vertical stabilizer what we know to be the tail and the uh, and, uh, uh, back wings which are known as vertical stabilizers are housed on top of the vertical stabilizer the tail to form what you know commonly as a T-wing this aircraft is uh, an amazing aircraft and it's still flown by several airlines today in a cargo in cargo in, in a, in a, in a, in a configuration and capacity. This is what she looks like from the back. Coming up. Coming up to the behind the engines now. Normally on takeoff as well, the engines uh, when they are spooled up glow a bright orange when they are uh, when they are at, are at full power. It can mostly be seen at at night. If you go onto a side called Sid Squad in Australia, at Sydney Airport, a lot of filming is done uh, on Kurt View. In the evenings there and you will see this aircraft on spool up and then you will notice the the bright orange engine glow but I hope you've had a wonderful time as I have looking at this aircraft and giving you all the love that she should get and uh, she's British made and uh, an absolute asset to her country. Thank you for watching with me today.